Oh, hi folks, it's James here. Welcome back to the Movie Mad channel. I uh, ordered a couple of items through the mail. Uh, as you say, while you're on lockdown, you've got to keep yourself occupied. So I'm still working, as I was mentioned in the previous videos, 8 to 4. So when the mail goes about 10, 11 o'clock in the morning, sort of gives you that inspiration once you've got, you know, you've got the rest of your day to work. And you sort of go, oh, well, I can have a look at the package then. So I tend not to look at them if they come. I'll wait all the way through until the end of the day and then I have a quick, a quick look. So I shall show you what came. So first of all, I got a package from Music Magpie. So I would open it, but I just had a quick peek. So let's have a look and see what we got. Oh, if I get the back out there. There we go. Oh, I can't. Got the holy steadies. Right, and I'm sitting on some stuff, so there you go. Right, so, first one I got is I've seen this in the 4 for 8, and that, I don't know how to think I've actually seen this, and that's George E. Romero's Night of the Living Dead. So, as far as I'm aware, this is the first zombie movie, 1968, is it? Gertie Gnearing and Trailways in George Romero's 1968 masterpiece, The Night of the Living Dead, is widely regarded as one of the greatest horror films of all time. And I thought if I to have that in the 4 for 8 at Music Magpie, it was pretty good. So I, I ordered that one. So let's have a look at the disc. Pretty much perfect, so happy with that. So I picked that one up, so that's cost me £2. And there was, a, there was a movie in the 4 for 8, and it, you know, I don't know whether it'll be the best movie, it probably won't, but I like the concept of it, and the concept of it, so it's Resistance, this is Andrea Reisman and Tom Wojcicki, so it doesn't say DD has failed, Britain is under occupation, so this isn't a well-known film, so by any means, so it's probably not going to be very good, but I like the premise. So the resistance is critically acclaimed the World War II study where the DD landings are failed and occupied Nazi, Nazi forces exchange the I think I'll just start the whole bit again. Okay, so resistance is, is the critically acclaimed World War II story based on the acclaimed novel by Owen Shears. It's 1944 and the DD landings have failed as occupying Nazi forces stretch their reach across Britain. Men are isolated from the Welsh Valley to do an uprising. It reminds me sort of the premise of Red Dawn. And I like Red Dawn as a movie, so let's hope it's something like that. So let's have a look. Again, disc perfect condition. So I thought for £2 that was worth a worth a look. I also seen another zombie movie and that's Outpost 2. And coincidentally I think it's Nazi zombies again. But probably a B movie but again for two pounds I thought it's worth a worth a worth a watch let's have a look at this yeah make sure it's in good condition because it's from my music out by yeah perfectly fine I've been actually pretty lucky with them lately recently no much damage and again for my wife in the four for eight I see this is supernatural so that's just got three and six now only 14, only 14 more to go. I've never watched Supernatural. I don't think it's uh, my type of thing, but my wife enjoys it, so that's why I got her the, this one. So she's got season three and season six now. So, as I say, only about 13 other seasons to go, but... Oh, that disc is a bit... It's just marks, it's not stretched. So that was Supernatural Season 3. And see, £8. It's not a terrible amount of money to spend, is it? For a week for a week of, a week of uh, movies. And I did order a couple from Arrow and their sale. So I'll show you those two. These were a bit more expensive. And the first one I ordered was An Apprentice to Murder. As you can see, I think I'll open that one. So I can have a look. If I can get it open. My favourite part of all, all, all Blu-ray Blu unboxing videos where they present a struggle and tries not to make yourself look like a fool and open it in the 
the movie. So Apprentice to Murder. And the reason I got that is it was one of the five found ones and it's got Donald Sutherland in it. And I really like Donald Sutherland, so I thought, why not give it a go? And it comes with a booklet, which is not bad. And there, yeah, so if I like the reversible artwork. Oh, good I prefer it for the one that's on now. And it says, what is it? Uh, it says, what is it? What? I've lost my ability to read today. My apologies. What was it magic? Murder or madness? And that's this is up. So special edition, but it's a 2K restoration. It's got in there, it says. And quite a, from the original 35mm. And the running time is 97 minutes. So I thought, if you know, for £5, not bad. But I thought, a lot of people, when this first came out on pre-order, were like, oh, this is great. Really need to get that one, really need to get that one. Or I've seen that and I thought, okay, I think I'll give it a go. But I think it was £18 when it first came out. So I was not going to pay £18. Some movies, like Weird Science, I put an Andromeda strain, I got them at the first release when they were £15. But uh, I don't do that often for us. I always wait till they're sale. And so I picked up Old Boy, and that's that's come with a slip. That would be damage. So it would be damage, is it? No, it's just a wee corner, is it? And it's an Old Boy two disc set, limited edition contents. And it says based on the Japanese manga of the same name. The film tells a horrific tale of a man who's kept in a cell for fifteen years, and he comes out. I think his mother and daughter's murdered, and he has to seek revenge. So. There you go. I won't open that one. I think I'll just leave that as it is. So those are my pickups. So in total, I spent, because that with postage, that was £14.50. So I spent £22 on movies this week. Not a great deal, I wouldn't have thought. Everybody's got to have a budget for entertainment. I think mine at the moment is probably about £20 a week. I think that's a fair, a fair shout. So while it's on lockdown, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'll continue to order some some uh, stuff. So I hope everybody's keeping themselves entertained. Hopefully this lockdown doesn't last too much longer and we can get back to the movie hunting from the charity shops, the CEX and other places. Speaking of that, I do have CEX vouchers, so they didn't include that in my budget. So I'll have, I might have a look and see if there's some good ones on there that I fancy. But I've been careful. I'm wanting to buy ones I really, really want to rewatch. You know, the 4 for 8, that's fine. The Night of the Living Dead and there's, is, is one I'll probably watch over and over. Resistance and Outpost too, probably not, but it was £8, it wasn't the end of the world if you don't watch them over and over again. But if I'm buying the CX, I have to pay the £2 postage for each one and make sure it's a good movie to order. So what are your thoughts on any of the movies I bought? The lockdown in general? Or if you just want to chat, put it in the comments. And I would appreciate a like, and if you want to subscribe, I'd appreciate that too. Getting closer to 400 now, I think about 357, 358 subscribers, so if we get to 400, I think I might do a prize giveaway. Hopefully, well, if I get there before the lockdown ends, that'll be great. I'll find some way to post the prizes out. If I get there afterwards, then fine. But I've got, I think I've got a few prizes lined up already. So hopefully I'll get there pretty soon. And uh, you can enjoy the prizes. The prizes, okay. So I've waffled on long enough. I shall see you next time. Thanks very much. Bye.